All right, the heat is something a lot of people are talking about or are certainly feeling today. Meteorologist Kerry Hall has been tracking that. And Kerry, how are we looking to net right now at least? It's already starting to get hot, Marcus. I mean, we know it's going to be a long day. We are under this microclimate weather alert as today we reach the peak of the heat. Let me show you San Jose. We're at 83 degrees right now. And as we go into the rest of the afternoon, our temperatures trend more toward the lower 90s. In some spots, you know how it is in San Jose. In South San Jose, it's much hotter. So we could see even some triple digits in some of those spots there. As we get a look at the seven day forecast, it's coming up at the bottom of the screen. Take a look at it as we make plans. Plans. And here's a look at the trend for our coastal areas. Much different, right? That's the reason why we have our microclimates. It shows that we are going to have a wide range in temperatures today, and there's just enough of an ocean breeze to keep our coastal communities a lot cooler. There's even going to be a wide range in temperatures in San Francisco. And when we look at our records for today, we are comparing our inland spots like Napa and Vacaville, Fairfield, Concord, Livermore. These are the spots where we could get either very close or reach a new record for today. And some of these are some very long standing records that may be set today. Looking at tomorrow and some of these numbers, check out a spot near you. Fairfield will be up to 100 degrees. Now that's hot, but we don't think we'll set a lot of records for tomorrow, but we'll be looking at those numbers very closely as this heat continues. And this coming on top of the widespread mega drought that we're seeing across the western states. And some of the the worst of the drought is right here in the Bay Area, especially as we look at the North Bay, parts of the East Bay, the highest level of the drought with us right now. Our reservoirs are declining very rapidly, and as we go into the next several months, we're going to see some huge impacts from that, as well as those water restrictions. We have the concern of wildfires as well with these hot temperatures and low humidity, but I wanted to show you that there is some relief on the way. Take a look at Concord. Even though we're reaching 107 today and 103 tomorrow, we're going to have a hot weekend, but look at what's coming early next week. Some upper 70s and low 80s, huge changes over the next few days with our high temperatures. And in our seven day forecast, more of the same for the inland areas for spots like Santa Rosa, Gilroy, and we're going to see in Livermore reaching 100 degrees today or more. But then as we go into the weekend, we do still have the plan for around the heat with our outdoor activities, but next week we'll be able to stay outside all day long and actually give our air conditioning a bit of a break. As we look at San Francisco, we're not seeing it heating up as much here, although parts of the city will reach into the mid 80s today. We're going to see some upper 60s by the end of the weekend, and that's what we'll see for early next week. And don't forget, you want to make plans to get outside for Father's Day this Sunday.